Dennis and I am seven years old. I live in Southport in the northwest of England by the Irish Sea. This video is about how people affect the coast. In our first episode, you learned that sea level is rising. But why is this a problem? This is the beach with the underwater sandbars and the dunes. Let's add Mrs. Biggie, who <laughs> just loves sunbathing. <laughs> As sea level rises, the coast moves with it. The beach and dunes move in towards the land. Sometimes the dunes may bury trees and bushes, but this is all natural. Over time, and if sediment is returned to the beach following the storms. Beaches and dunes move inland as the shoreline moves. The beach and dunes are not destroyed by the rising sea and Mrs Piggy gets to keep her spot at the beach. Let's now imagine that we build houses by the beach. Hello Mrs Piggy! As sea level rises there is no space for the dunes to move landwards. Our houses squeeze the coast, the beach disappears, and so does Mrs Piggy's sunbathing spots. Because the beach and dunes are gone, houses are more likely to be affected by big waves. Sea level is going up a bit every year, but we also have regular storms, and they are strong. Storms can make the water rise in just a few hours. Luckily, we have coastal dunes which stop the water and lend sand to the sandbars offshore, which break the waves superhero style. But what if we build houses on the dunes? The houses might be above the storm surge, or not, which can lead to flooding. Houses also flatten the dunes and when the storm comes to take the sand from the dune to build the sandbar, it tries to take the houses instead. Because some houses are too close to the beach, there is no longer enough sand left in the dunes for the storm to take with it, so the sandbar cannot grow. Our superheroes lose their superhero strength and the big waves keep eroding the coast. Dune beach systems can also become weaker because of people and vehicles. But how? Well, the secret component to the strength of our dune superhero is plants! Special plants and their roots make dunes harder to erode during storms and act like sand traps to help the dunes grow. Plants give dunes their super dune power, but trampling feet and wheels destroy dune plants, which makes it easier for the waves and the wind to erode the dunes. That's all for now. Bye!